from our standpoint, uh, this was a tournament of very highs and, and then feeling low right now. Uh, this this game, we we really felt like that, you know, we had a chance to come in and be very competitive. Uh, it didn't turn out that way tonight. But I couldn't be more proud of what our guys did and what they accomplished in this tournament. Um, you know, for us, we've never won a, an NCAA tournament game and to end up in the finals. And as I told them, you know, there was 32 teams that are still playing. And we were one of those 32. So I'm, I'm very, very proud of that. And as down as we are right now, I think that uh, as a little bit of time goes along, uh, these guys will realize that they set the bar pretty high uh, for years to come. Questions? Coach Case, did, having to play the earlier game, uh, and especially the, the heat like it is, do you think that had an effect on how you guys play? No, I, I don't think. Uh, I mean, you know, obviously it is a factor, but I don't think that was a factor. That's not why it was 19-3 to 3 or whatever it was. I, you know, I think Ole Miss, uh, they, they did a really good job. We did not do a real good job on the mound. We walked um, more people than, than you, you can't be competitive if you walk that many people in a ball game. And um, early in the game, it kind of worked out. And we, we were able to get out of a couple of situations, but then the game kind of got out of hand in the middle. I, I really don't think it was uh, playing two games in a day. Um, I think we, were, we just kind of ran low on pitching. Nick, can you, I know today notwithstanding, but it's been a pretty remarkable year for you and your teammates and especially to be a senior on this squad. Uh, can you talk kind of what the year meant to you? Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, it's been a wild ride. Uh, to be honest with you, at the beginning of this year, I wasn't very happy. I don't think anybody was very happy. We weren't performing very well. And then once we got on a roll, man, it was it was a lot of fun to see this team, see a bunch of young guys step up, the older guys filling in roles. It was, it was awesome watching it and being a part of it. And to be a senior, to be able to go out like this, yeah, tonight was miserable, honestly. Mm -hmm. And the other night as well, whenever we played Ole Miss as well. But in between that, man, it was it was fun being able to win that first game for Jacksonville, for the program, for its history, and then to be able to go on and put Clemson out as well. It was it was a lot of fun, roller coaster of emotions. But it's been a heck of a year, and I wouldn't trade it for anything. Does it add more, maybe, because of what the campus went through last year with the tornado? I think it, it means a lot to us just because it's. Uh, you know, our whole saying has been Jacksonville strong, and I think we went out this year and proved that whenever we do have what we have back home supporting us, that uh, we can do pretty much anything we want to, and we can get to where we want to go. Trey, you had a, a very good tournament, I think, six hits, six RBIs. Could you talk a little bit about what you did during the tournament and, <coughs> and what you are able to do to help the team? Well, as a leadoff hitter, uh, I just try to get on and set the table for my teammates. Just try to be on base as much as possible. Try to get in the pitcher's head. Try to get my the people behind me good pitcher to hit. Could you talk about the home run you hit today? Uh, that really set the tone for the, the first game. Well, uh, the guy had a pretty live fastball. I mean, mid '90s guy, but he made a mistake with the slider and had to capitalize. And I felt like once we got up a four zero on him, they kind of rolled over and they kind of laid down. And it was like Nick said, awesome to be Clemson and put them out. Coach Case, you've mentioned several times that that your guys are very resilient and have accomplished a lot of things in some tough circumstances this year. Had to come back and. Why do you think your guys were, were so good at being good in tough situations? Well, I think part of it is uh, the leadership that we had, and, and Nick is a big part of that. And, you know, we don't have a, a team captain, but the guys call him captain because I think uh, he stands for everything our program is about. And, you know, at one time, and I'm, I'm not positive of this, but I think we were 20 and 19 at one time, and it was a scuffle. And, uh, and from that point on, we we turned it on pretty good and played probably about as good as any of our teams at Jacksonville State have ever played. And I think we ended up winning maybe 18 out of our last 21, which is pretty incredible because there was some uh, tough games and good competition in, in that time.